Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And then let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Okay, so this is gonna be Prime Vertical, um, Escapist, Eschaton. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, but this is the um, this is the album that I was, that I was wanting to play on yesterday's cast. But uh, I had a, this is uh, I had to sit around and wait for the uh, whole video to get uploaded and processed. The, doing my copyright check basically so um it was uh it was what uh, led me to have to play like the other the space something from the iron cthulhu apocalypse channel so but like, like i said this is the one this is the one that i wanted to play yesterday so it's classified as drone music but it's definitely one of the definitely one of the better drone albums i've heard i would i mean i hardly would even call it drone i mean there's, you, I'm used to drone music just being, you know, you know, you just like, uh, you know, like one long super note or one super long note, you know, that kind of thing. So, but not this one. So, go ahead and get her fired up. I want to say this music kind of sounds like Kraftwerk, kind of like their um, their their first two albums. Their, yeah, their very first two albums, like the ones the ones that had a that had cones, like the first one had a red cone on the cover, the second one had a green cone on the cover. Those ones kind of reminds me a little bit of the this album here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of those. So, but. Anyway, to get things started, um, this time around for uh, my stream, I did pinball again, but just like yesterday, I tried playing FX3, I actually managed to play for like a few minutes, and then it crashed. I think I made two or three attempts, but still the same result, so, so, no go on FX3, and I gotta turn it down a little bit from my end. So anyway, um, but yeah, um, FX3 crashed and it's a new, it's a new matchup week. So I really would like to get in there and, you know, get myself established on this, you know, on the league rankings, but looks like that ain't going to happen. The most I could probably hope for is to like play it offline or something. And then, um, so I switched over to uh, Pinball Arcade. Um, it crashed, but, um, I think it only happened twice. And uh, both times I was able to restart it and then play for a little while, but then it would crash again. You know, but like I said, it wasn't like FX3. I mean, I was only on it for like maybe a few minutes. So, at least with Arcade, I was able to play like, I want to say an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, during that whole time, I really shouldn't have bothered. It was, it was a pretty, it was a pretty shitty session. Just constantly missing shots, even blowing the easy ones. Um, just kept, kept flubbing the flippers, you know, kept fumbling the ball and all that. So, just making a lot of stupid mistakes. So, I, so I basically had no choice but to go play Zachariah. And this is one of those times where it was almost like a punishment. Rather than out of necessity. Just from from just really bad playing. Just really awful. You know, I just... I... I can't do it here, because I can't... I don't want I don't want the damn game to crash on me, but you get... Basically... In pinball... If you... Pop up both flippers at the same time, that's an amateur's mistake. I... I must... I must be an eternal amateur, because I still have that problem. Now, a lot of times... You know, popping up the, both flippers like that is a reflex reaction. So it, it something like that is very difficult for me to to wean myself off of. Um, what makes it really bad is sometimes I do this at a very bad time, and uh, 
the timing, you know, my timing might be off, and that's something else too. I'm, I'm, um, I'm playing with a wireless controller, so I have to deal with Bluetooth, and I'll basically have to deal with input lag, which might also be factoring in this as well. Why it seems like my timing's a little off. And then to go to go a little further back, um, I found out, I found out, uh, probably a few weeks ago, that. Whenever I, whenever I'm playing wired, you know, whenever I have a wired connection, and every so often the controller disconnects, it's not really so much the the cord or the controller itself, it's as much as it is the uh, USB jack. There's a there's some kind of malfunction in there, and um, I was looking at the event viewer, and it would say like a USB port has trouble with the low energy. Low, low energy or low power something I don't know how they explain it but basically my uh, one of my at least one of my USB ports has an occasional hiccup so I'm thinking I'm thinking that might be the issue too so like it doesn't the cord has nothing to do with it it's the the jack itself I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here hold on So, but anyway, going back to what I was originally talking about, it just, basically, I'm making too many amateurs' mistakes. So, just real, real simple, real simple errors that that normally should be easily avoided or or a player of my skill shouldn't be making to begin with. Well, I was making them in spades in Pinball Arcade, but again, that also assumes that uh, input lag is factoring in. Hell, there's been time, but even then, sometimes the uh, input lag gets really bad. Like, like trying to trying to flip a ball, but the ball goes, you know, the ball rolls straight off the flipper anyway. Like, no. So sometimes, if you if you hear me streaming, and if you hear me say input lag, that's what it is. You know, gotta try to catch the ball or flip the ball, but all of a sudden, like the ball just rolls off the flipper, or it doesn't flip when I want it to. That's input lag so it's so yeah input lag it ain't just for fighting games so but anyway um again um I switched over to Zachariah after playing arcade for like an hour and a half uh, hour and a half two hours somewhere around there and like us kind of a little bit of a recap this time around it felt like more of a punishment than it did out of necessity. Just, you know, because Zachariah, I mean, it's like, it's like flippers were added as an afterthought on a lot of those tables. And then some of those other ones, some of the uh, other tables, especially the deluxe ones, like the, the more, the, the more super modern day versions of classic tables, they're, they're such big cluster fucks that, uh, Makes a, it makes a table like Bone Busters look easy. You know, and you got you got dolls are, you know, visibility's really bad, hard to see where the ball's at because of all the of all the toys and ramps and whatnot. You know, but but generally speaking, I've said this in another cast before, but Zachariah Pinball, most of the tables there are basically pachinko machines with flippers added on. So it's like, you know, so flipper skills and accurate shooting are pretty much taken out of the equation on, a, on most, if not all, those tables. So. But, but that's, that's the pinball session. So, but um, outside of that, uh... For the most part, um, just, just, um, sitting around basically spinning my wheels because the only role game I, I'm, I can consistently get going aside from Gems of War, which I didn't even bother playing, I just wasn't feeling it, was Idol Champions, 
Oh, the Forgotten Realms. It's like the only game I got right now, or the only game I got that I want to play, that act that consistently works. And uh, I've I've streamed it before, I've, um, and I've said this in other casts too. Um, one of the best things about Idol Champions is the uh, is a community. They're um I think the game devs that made the game, they too play it. And they're um they uh, often stream it as well. They often stream their goings on on Twitch. Um, the guy who who made the music soundtrack for for the game, he streams it. You know the people who. Did you know? Did the artwork for the game? They also stream it. See, it's like all the devs on here—they're always streaming the game. I so I can't. That's not something I can really say about a lot of other games. You know, or you know, the devs—they would, they like they stream their patch, their their the new patch they're implementing. They would just you know go on stream, show all the changes they made, and then just call it good. But that's it. You don't ever see them again. But not idle champs. They're they're on it all the time. I'm gonna take another drink here. Hold on. But on the downside, though, good luck on somebody like me streaming it. And you know, part of it's understandable. You know, the general populace. I mean, you know, they probably find idle games to be pretty boring. You know, I mean, I, they would watch a, want to watch a streamer play an idle game, despite the fact that uh, I oftentimes have podcasts and interviews, you know, stuff that's actually, you know, that you really want to, li you really, really want to listen to. You know, or, you know, stuff that you, you really want to make an emotional investment in. I think I've done it with, uh, done it with regular music too, like, like dark ambient and stuff. You know, just really want to actually kick back and listen to this stuff. But nope, that don't work either. Um, all of my Idle Champ streams are, for the most part, dead. I think there's been a... I think there's been a few exceptions here and there, but again, it's... You know, not much not much going on. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, I did, however... I played Capcom Fighting Collection. I did manage to get it to work without crashing. And, um, I actually played a little bit yesterday. And, um, I did my usual. Um, got on training mode, did a random select, and one character that came up was Lord Raptor. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say now that, uh, if I was to ever actually select one character to play, it's definitely gonna be him. And, um, and let's hope the game doesn't crash. And I'm also... Okay, there we go. And this time around, I managed to actually turn the music completely off. I know in any other menu, you can only set, you can only have it as low as one, but no, you can actually turn it completely off. So, but let me go ahead and do a quick demo on a Lord Raptor. Um, one big thing I like about him is, uh, is, uh, you hardly need to do, uh, special moves with this guy. Like, he's got some. Uh, he's, he's got that, but I think, uh, Oh, he's got... Oh, ew. He's got charge moves. But, uh... But again, you don't... Unlike most other characters, I don't really need them. <laughs> but, uh, even as, uh... His normal attacks are what I really like, though. I mean, this is an anti-air. That actually goes up in the air, like way up in the air. I've seen, um... I've seen characters that have uh, anti-air moves that, that don't do shit. I mean, but this one here, it actually reaches up. But he also has one... Oh, and, um... 
Light, light attack. Medium punch. Oh, and there's something else, too. Um, his attacks change depending on which way you're moving. If you're moving forward, they actually stick out a little bit if you move back or neutral. See, if you move forward and jab or and do a light kick, move back. And then, um, and then, um, heavy punch, and he moving forward. Sucker's got some rage. I mean, it's, it's slow, but look at that. And, um, when I was doing arcade mode yesterday, man. And then, um, for jumping, he has his own version of air dashing. I think he has another ability. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Yeah, down up kick. But I, here, let me uh, show the uh, the jumping normal moves. You know, you got you got the air to air, but you also have that's another good uh, air to air move. It's also a good air to ground as well. So, so you can attack this. You can attack him from like pretty far away too. You know, so you can do, you can do heavy kick into heavy punch. I think he has a down back kick. Does that. So let's um. So let me go ahead and set him to. That was a button read. As you can see, oh, controller. I gotta pause. It. I gotta pause it. I gotta unplug my controller. But, like I said, um, like I said about that, um, some time ago, I found out that it wasn't the core, it's not the core that's giving me the problems, it's the USB jack. So, Okay. <laughs> 
That was a button read. Forgot about that too. Um, I also I remacroed my buttons. Um, L1 now does uh all three punch buttons at the same time. L2 does all three kick buttons at the same time. So So yeah, it, you'll do all different things now when Oh, that's right, you can do air throws on here, too. Oh. Oh, a little too early on that. Oh. Yeah, as you can see though, his moves have some range to him. So, and I don't, I don't absolutely need to be doing specials with this guy. So, but like I said, I still love me some random select. But if I was to, if I was to ever consistently play a character, it's got to be him. I, I do need to mention too that um there's a chance that I might also be putting out another uh, commentary video I found another cool as hell article I was thinking of doing it I was thinking of doing it on this cast video but I also wanted to do a little bit of a gameplay demo on Lord Raptor like I just did so um, if I get around to it I'll go ahead and um, I'll make another commentary video on that article but yeah I really liked it so, I just felt it worth talking about. So. But, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everyone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it good. Now, um, this will be my last cast for the week. So, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, that's my work week. So, so and I, I do work the night shift um, from 8 p.m. until 7 a.m., so... Three ten-hour shifts. So, so in other words, you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, know everybody, buddy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.